Okay, so here we are, module four, lesson 17, and we are going to relate decimal and fraction multiplication. So let's look here. Our directions ask us to multiply, and then it says the first few are started for us. So we're going to take a look here. This walks through. It has four times six tenths, and we have our four and our six tenths. If you notice, it was a decimal here, but it's changed it to a fraction here. So we know that four times six tenths is equal to four times six over 10, which is equal to 24 over 10, which is also said as 24 tenths, which is 24 tenths here, or two and four tenths. Remember, we can rename this or call this 24 tenths, as well as two and four tenths. All right, so for B, we have are two factors which are both decimals four tenths times six tenths we have four tenths times six tenths now we change them to fractions four tenths times six tenths is equal to four times six over ten times ten well we know that four times six is twenty four and ten times ten is one hundred so we would say this as twenty four hundredths so we say the number twenty four and we know that the four has to be in what place value? It has to be in the hundredths place value. So that means that our decimal would have to be right here. So that is 24 hundredths. All right, let's take a look at C. We have four, and that's in the hundredths place, times six, and that's in the tenths place. So four hundredths times six tenths. We can rewrite that as four times six over a hundred times 10. We know that four times six is 24, and one, two zeros, three zeros, 100 times 10 is 1,000. So that's 24 thousandths. So we're gonna have 24, but this four has to be in a thousandths place. So if that four is in a thousandths place, that means that's in the hundredths place. We put a zero in our tenths place, in our decimal, and we have our 24 thousandths. Let's take a look at the next part here. So we're just continuing, we have D. We have seven times three tenths. Write that out as three tenths, and we can rewrite that as, excuse me, as seven times three over, and we know that seven is, as a fraction would be seven over one, or we can just put our seven over, our seven times three over 10. We know that seven times three is 21. This is 21 tenths, which is gonna be equal to 21 tenths. The one has to be in a tenths place, so that means my decimal's right there. 21 tenths is two and one tenth. Same thing here, seven tenths times three tenths, seven tenths times three tenths. I like to skip this step sometimes, but I'll write it out just since uh, it was in our directions or our examples rather. So we have seven times three equals 21, 10 times 10 equals 100, 21 hundredths. We know that we have our 21. The one has to be in a hundredths place. That means the two is in the tenths place. Our decimals here, we have no ones. All right, now we're extending out for F. Seven in the hundredths place, so that's seven hundredths times three in the tenths place. That's three tenths. Let's write that out. We're going to multiply seven times three over 100 times 10. We have seven times three is equal to 21. We have one, two zeros there, one zero there. 100 times 10 is 1,000. So that's 21 thousands. I know my one in 21 has to be in the thousands place. That means that my two is in my hundreds place. I have zero in my tenths place and zero in my ones place. All right, moving on. Pick up the pace here a little bit. I have 13 tenths times five. That's equal to 13 times five over 10. 13 times five is, well, let's do the math here. Well, five times three, is 15 regroup five times 110 is five tenths plus 110 is 65 i have 65 over 10 or 65 tenths 
So that's going to be 65 tenths has to be 6 and 5 tenths. All right, so we had the same factors, just uh, in this case, it went from 5 to 5 tenths. So I want to write that out again, 13 tenths times, now instead of times 5, it's going to be times 5 tenths. All right, 13 times 5 over 10 times 10. Like I said, I like to skip the step, but since we have it in our example, I'm going to show it to you. 13 times 5, we just said was 65. I don't have to do that math again. We know that 1, 2 zeros, that's going to be 100. 10 times 10 is 100. 65 hundreds. So I have 65. My 5 has to be in my hundreds. That means my 6 is in my tens. That's what's there in zero ones. Same math. Now, instead of 13 tenths, I have 13 hundredths. And instead of, well, it's the same as this. I have 5 tenths here. So let's go ahead and multiply that. 13 times 5 is 65 again, remember. And then we have 100 times 10. We have 65, one, two zeros, three zeros, over 1,000 is 65. 5 has to be in my thousandths place. That means this is my hundredths, nothing in my tenths, and nothing for my ones. So it's 65 thousandths. All right, now we're going to move on to some word problems. It says, Jennifer makes one and seven liters of lemonade. So it's 17 tenths of a liter of lemonade. If she pours three tenths of the lemonade in a glass, how many liters of lemonade are in the glass? So let's take a look at that. So it's saying we are taking three tenths of one and seven tenths. So that's three tenths of 17 tenths. So we know that three times 17, do the math, 17 times three, well, seven times three is 21. And then we have three times one ten is three tenths plus two tenths is five tenths, so that's 51. We have 51 over 100 or 51 hundredths. So the one has to be in a hundredths place. Everything else is going to fall in line. And the question was asking us how many liters of lemonade are, are remaining in the glass. Excuse me, are in the glass. The question was how many liters of lemonade are in the glass. And we would know that there are 51 hundredths of a liter in the glass. And that is our answer. All right, so moving on. Cassius walked six tenths of a three and six tenths mile trail. How many miles did Cassius have left to hike? So we know how much he walked. We want to know how much more he had to walk. So we, we're not concerned with the amount that he walked. We want to know what that four tenths of the remaining distance is. So we know that six tenths would be six tenths of the three and six tenths mile trail. So we know that that's equal to six tenths times 36 tenths and that's equal to let's do the math 36 times 6 6 times 6 is 36 and then we have 6 times 3 tens is 18 tens plus 3 tens is 21 tens so we have 216 and then we have 10 times 10 100 so we know that this is how much he walked of it. Now it's asking us to calculate it, the distance in miles. So we have to say, well, this is how much he walked. The total was 3.6 miles. So when you look at this, pay attention, 
you notice that I have my ones, I have my tenths, I don't have hundredths. So I need to put in a placeholder here in my hundredths. And now I can't subtract this without decomposing. So I'm going to take one of my tenths. Now I have five tenths. That one tenth is going to become ten hundredths. So now I have ten hundredths minus six hundredths is four. And then five tenths minus one tenth is four. Don't forget to bring down your decimal. One mile, minus, I'm sorry, three miles minus two miles is one. So the distance that he had left was one and forty-four hundredths of a mile remaining to hike. So remaining distance is here. All right. So now part B of this states that Cameron was one and three miles ahead of Cassius. How many miles did Cameron hike already? So we know that this is the total that Cassius hiked. So we're going to take Cassius's total and add our 1.3 for Cameron. Now, once again, we don't have a hundredths place here, so we're just going to fill that in as a placeholder. So now we say, well, six hundredths plus zero hundredths is six hundredths. One tenth plus three tenths is four tenths. Bring down my decimal. Two miles plus one mile is three miles. So who is this? This is Cameron. Cameron hiked three and forty six hundredths of a mile or miles in all. All right. And that is it. That is the last problem on the homework. Uh, we went through every homework problem. I'm expecting your child or to have every homework problem completed. Please, I know this is posted kind of late, but if they have to watch it in the morning to complete it, please don't hesitate to have them uh, go over this in the morning. It shouldn't take them more than 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we're at the, about the 12 minute mark now. Either way, I hope this helps and I'll try to post a little bit earlier next time. Thank you.